Hey everyone, welcome back to Small Batch Devs. My name is Austin. And I'm Elliot. Today we are going over the RxJS operator switch map. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like the video, hit the subscribe button, and of course, that notification bell. But without any further ado, let's jump into it. So if you're new to RxJS, we'll put a link to the intro to RxJS video right up there. And you can also check out some of our other videos that we've done on individual operators. But let's jump into the switch map operator for now. The switch map operator is another flattening operator, just like merge map or flat map. The flattening operator allows us to project values from an outer source observable onto an inner observable. But let's go ahead and jump into a couple examples to just demonstrate what we mean by that. So taking a look at the code, we've got an outer observable called letter observable that's just going to emit a series of letters. But we've also got a pipe on that observable that has a switch map operator inside of it. And that switch map operator is gonna have the values projected from the letter observable into the observable that it will return back through the pipe. So each letter will be projected into this letter number combo. And as you can see, the result here is that each letter is paired up with all of the numbers in sequence. This just shows the flattening and projection capabilities of switch map. Our second example here is pretty similar to the previous one, except we're going to use the interval function, which will just emit a new value every one second or 1000 milliseconds. And obviously in our inner observable, we are going to be using that emitted value, which will be a second and just pair it up with each of uh, the values in our inner observable. So A, B, and C. So if we run the code here and give it a few seconds, you'll be able to see that each second we are emitting a new value and pairing that value with each value in our inner observable. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So switch map really differs from the other operators because of its ability to cancel the inner observable when a new value is emitted from the source observable. The more you know. So we're gonna jump into an example. Now we're gonna jump into an example. <laughs> <laughs> so to demonstrate the canceling effect of switch map, uh, let's jump into our example. We have two observables being created. Uh, the outer is a five second observable. So every five seconds, a new value will be emitted and the inner one is a one second observable. So this will allow us to display the canceling effect because once a new value is emitted on the outer observable every five seconds, that'll cancel and restart our inner observable. So if we let this code run for a few seconds, um, we'll come back and explain the output. So to explain our output real quick, um, you can see our inner observable, we have four counts of zero and our inner observable is zero, one, two, three. And basically what this means is our outer observable allowed for five seconds of our inner observable. And then on that fifth second, it doesn't actually get output. It actually, that's when the outer observable emits a new value, which will be one. As you can see for those, another five seconds goes by and we get two and rinse and repeat. Um, and yeah, that's how the switch map operator works with the canceling effect. So a great example of when to use the switch map is if you have a search API and your user is going to input something into your search box. Every time they hit a new letter, you're going to send a new request to get the search results for that word. But you don't need the search results for the previous words they've been typing, so you want to cancel those inner observables. And that's where switch map really comes into play. So basically, if you find yourself in a scenario um, in which you don't always need your inner observables to fully complete, that would be a good time to use the switch map operator. Really good time. The best of times. So today we covered the RxJS operator switch map. We showed you a couple of examples on how to use it and demonstrated the canceling property of switch map itself, which differs it from all the other operators. Just so you know, we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. We also upload the information from these videos to our blog website, which we built ourselves because we're very talented. We do know um, how to code. It's at smallbatchdevs.com. If you're interested in like a text format of our videos, 
Also make sure to check us out on social media at Small Batch Devs on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course hit the notification bell um, to be notified of our videos. But thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace. Go.